Hello and welcome to this masterclass where we're just, our goal is to introduce you to a different way of generating income um, from a portfolio of assets in the digital age and also to introduce you to a marketplace that most people don't even realise exists. Um, now, I'm Liz, obviously. <laughs> of course, you're Liz, yes, and I'm Matt, and we're the founders of the eBusiness Institute and where we train or help high income earners or people transition out of their um, day jobs to diversify to online income. So or this potentially is, for um, for investment as well. Yeah. yeah. So this is a marketplace. What we're going to be talking about tonight is a marketplace that has the potential to build up significant side income for yourself or possibly replace your job. But it's about a creating a. I would imagine for most of you listening a side income or a significant side income while you learn how to do this but possibly it could all even be the beginnings of a multi-million dollar portfolio because what we want to show you is how these websites can be grown how you can buy them and how you can also turn them into big highly valuable assets yes and so in, out interestingly a lot of our students um, who have now gone on started with zero experience and have gone on to make tens of thousands of dollars per month um, create six figure and even seven figure incomes online um, most of our students are in their 30s 40s 50s wanting to change wanting to set up for retirement so Actually, we're interested for you guys tonight, what are your goals? So let's find out a little bit more about where you're at and what you actually want to create in your life and what, you want, what you're thinking about using this strategy for, because it's always good to set up knowing what you want out of something. So just type it in, what, out of those things, what's, what's the main goal for you in using a strategy and learning about a strategy like this? Are you looking to work more remotely? Um, do you want to make some extra cash flow? Is it about quitting your job? We find a lot of people who, who we work with uh, really in this day and age want to quit their jobs or they're looking for easier ways perhaps to get into business. You know, they've always wanted to own a business. Maybe you're in that boat. Mm -hmm. Just type in the chat for us. So we've got a feel for who's here in the audience tonight. Mm -hmm. So we can, um, because I think you're going to find this really interesting, but it lets us, it gives us some ideas of, how we tailor what we say tonight to you as well. But maybe you want to diversify your portfolio. We have a lot of people who are ex-real estate investors, and as we know, the market's a pretty interesting time out there. There's a lot of talk in the, in the press about a recession and rising interest rates and things. And the last one is a really interesting one. That's our goal for people, uh, like for you guys, to get alternative ideas of perhaps achieving financial um, freedom for you. Yeah, and awesome answers. So Alexandra, being able to work anywhere you want and make at least 20K US dollars per month. And Perfect. that is certainly, yep, that's a great goal for this strategy. Um, Josh, you're going for financial freedom. And yeah, we want to have obviously income that's more leveraged, that you don't want to be swapping time for money. I think that's a big one for a lot of for a lot mm. of our students. They want to get to that place where they're not swapping time for money. Um, yeah, Nicholas, so you're wanting to transition away from your current job, and that's such a common one. Um, people wanting to, especially if you're in that age bracket where you've built up to a pretty nice income, you don't necessarily want to start right back from square one. Um, you want to have a, a strategy that can get you to the six figures relatively quickly. So that's something else that this strategy can do. Um, Kerry, you're after a portfolio career, um, and Nicholas, yeah, creating time and money. Um, Mick, you're after them all. Perfect. <laughs> That's the way. And uh, I, hopefully I can pronounce this right. Mozamil Asif. Um, working remotely, reducing your working hours, and yes, that's, that's a really that's a very one. common one, definitely. Yeah. We, we find in this day and age, a lot of our clients or people that we train mm -hmm. want to, and they use this these strategies to reduce their working hours and transition their income. And what it's really interesting, actually, is one big question we get asked all the time. So a lot of people have these goals, but I think a lot of people are nervous about this new digital 
uh, digital arena, can it be done if you've never been online before, if you're not an experienced business person or online marketer or tech person? So we want to start by just sharing a few stories of some of our graduates so you know what's possible using this strategy. So this is Mark. Mark had a great job and he was paid really well. Um, he was an associate professor of chemistry, but he just wasn't that happy there. He wanted to change. He wanted to do something different with his life and he wanted to create more leverage to income. Um, so he actually ended up, he took six months off to really get focused and trained with us. And he can, he never went back, back to work because within a year, he'd hit his 10K per month goal. So, and he started out small, started with a $6,000 investment, then an $8,000 investment. He's now invested about $50,000 in websites. And that's from there, he's created a portfolio that's now valued at more than, probably more than half a million now. So that's pretty impressive results for starting from scratch and within 12 to 18 months, building up a really nice portfolio. This is Nathan and Alexa, and they were also total beginners online. Uh, Nathan was actually an electrician and Alexa was working customer service. Now they were trying to get financial freedom and time freedom through buying and selling or doing the real estate thing in Sydney. Mm. And now, as you can imagine, it's pretty hard when you're a young couple starting out, particularly with Sydney prices as they are, and they maxed out pretty quickly with their banks. And of course, the big thing that hit them was cash flow, getting that cash flow up. So they started training with us. They've been with us quite a few years, but they learned how to buy and renovate small hobby sites. That was their specialty. And we're gonna show you a number of their sites because these are really, hot part of the marketplace. Now they've been very successful at this. You can see that is a offer, we've done a bunch of interviews with our students, you can see them on our site, but the, off just one site alone that they own, they make $8,000 per month mm. and they outsource everything to their team members. And we're gonna show you how they've been able to do that and the sort of sites they're buying, but this is from a website that they bought for four and a half grand. So compare that to you know, yeah. traditional real estate where people are trying to cash flow their lives. Look at that cash flow, $8,000 a month. And that's really freed up their life. Now these guys live the laptop lifestyle. For the last couple of years, they've lived overseas, traveling, living in a different country for a few months uh, of the year. Yeah, awesome. They're an amazing couple. And here's Lisa, she's a stay at home mum. She'd never been online, and so complete beginner online, and she really wanted her own business and income. And she, again, she learned on small websites, started with websites under $1,000, built up her knowledge and skills with us, they, she bought actually in a fairly early in her journey, mm. she bought this little website for $2,000 and she renovated it and she got it up to $5,000 a month, which is impressive in itself. Absolutely. Just simple renos. We're going to show you tonight exactly what she did and the strategies that she used. Now that same, same site now has $27,000 plus months which is super impressive. That was actually valued by a broker um, just recently at over a million dollars for a site she originally paid $2,000 for. And needless to say, Lisa now does this full time. Yes. <laughs> so she enjoys it. <laughs> she so we're going to show you what she's done, what these guys have done throughout this masterclass. Yeah, and probably one of the best examples, a final example of, of um, being non-techie is us. Um, we're actually zoologists. So that's our training. Um, that's Matt, out, out far west in New South Wales. Many years ago. Studying, yes. studying kangaroos. Yep. That was our background. And so um, we did. We certainly didn't start out with any online experience or tech skills or even business skills. Um, we were zoologists. We both came from farming backgrounds. And one of the things though, that we did get from that life growing up is that we, we really strongly, strongly value freedom. And so we really wanted to create a life for ourselves that we were able to control our time, that we could be where we wanted to be and earn money from wherever we wanted to, we, where we wanted to be. And unfortunately doing zoology, it, saw, it, well, it actually ties you to the cities because you have to do research and you're usually associated with big research centers. And um, and it wasn't ever going to make us the money to get to get us to be financially free. So, so we always wanted to be location and time independent mm. in whatever we did. And we realized very early that a job, a, you know, a nine to five job is not going to do that for us, particularly in science. Or, and also become, coming from a farming background, we couldn't buy a farm. So what we did instead, we bought a little manufacturing business and we got into our first business. 
And then we got really good at that. We fixed it up and we just started buying. We were able to systemize it so we only had to work six months a year. So we started buying and selling other bricks and mortar businesses to the point where we started doing it at a professional level as business advisors and mergers and acquisitions experts. And we were selling businesses to high net worth up to anywhere from a million dollars to $20 million. This was back in Sydney. And then since then, we just absolutely loved it. And what happened was we were really you know, that was our life, just doing that with bricks and mortar businesses, wholesale import businesses. But we discovered this thing called the internet. And when our kids came along, we realized, ah, this is a way we can work from home. We can do exactly the same thing as what we did for all those years with bricks and mortar businesses. But now it's a lot easier. We can do it all online from home. But not only that, we don't have to invest lots of money into stock. We don't have to invest hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars into physical inventory and staff and things like that. And that's what we want to show you tonight. Now, these days we're angel investors, educators and mentors, but our investment focus, we're also full time investors. And these days, our thing, our, our focus well, it's always been, not just these has days, always, always been, been yeah, around diversity. So we've always owned, as you just heard in our story, multiple businesses. We've always been investing in both shares and real estate. But it's also, as we get older, it's really important about security and leverage. And that's what we do with our education focus. We retrain people to earn digital income simply and safely. That's literally what we are all about because that's exactly what we have done for the last 30 years. And we, yeah. we absolutely love that 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 feeling of being totally free 30 years, and am secure. I that old? I'm not, well, not, not quite 30 but, years. But I am, maybe. <laughs> Um, I'm not allowed to say how old you are. Yeah, no, you're not. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's our passion now. We love retraining people and it is a real buzz for us when we have someone, we get people to that point where they're making full-time incomes or even more uh, from their website portfolios and from their digital skills and knowledge. So the next question that we always get asked is, okay, well, that's fine, but how do you actually make money from these websites? It's an unusual thing. When Usually when people, when we say hey, we invest in websites and we make money from websites, people automatically assume that means e-commerce. They think we have online stores that sell products, but it's actually not that at all. As Matt, as Matt mentioned, we've been in manufacturing and wholesale and distribution businesses, and it's hard, man. It's mm. it's. It's a lot of stock, it's, a, it's overdrafts, it's debt, it's all this stuff that we never wanted to do again. So what we do, we do something a little bit different, something quite unique, is that imagine the difference between owning a shop or owning a you know a, a offline business that's buying stock and stocking shelves and dealing with customers versus owning a billboard out on a busy street where people are going past. So think about that billboard. There's nothing really you gotta do as long as people at traffic is going past that billboard and seeing the ads, that's when you get paid. An advertiser will pay you to put their message on that billboard. And that's basically what we do with websites. We own websites that um, draw tra have people coming to the websites to get information. And then we have advertisers who want to put their messages in front of those people, or we refer people to products that they can buy around those around those particular topics. So the cool thing about this is we've got no inventory, no stock, no dealing with the public, no returns, no warehousing, no nine to five or five to nine and hardly any staff. And it means we can partner with two of the world's biggest companies as well, biggest blue chip companies. Um, these are the two of the biggest advertising and referral networks in the world. They will pay you for your traffic, for your visitors that see your site and click on your ads or go or refer through to products, to buy products. And the other great thing, Liz, is because we train beginners, these two companies actually are the best places to start out mm. learning this stuff because not only are they the biggest in the world and blue chip, they, they're very, very effective at monetizing websites for begin, when you're a beginner. It's yeah, a really they do great it all for place you. to start. Now, as yeah, you get better, you, you, there are better offers out there. But for starting out, and to this day, we still earn money from both Amazon and Google. Yep. And so the next question is, well, how do we get people to see our billboards, like yep. see these ads? What the key there, and this is something that uh, you... Yeah, it, it is actually the real key to success online, which a lot of people don't talk about. And I think it's actually fantastic. The real key to success online is to help people. It's to answer questions 
and solve their problems, help them find information that they're looking for. And so here's here's a few examples to give you an idea of well, what it can be worth to answer people's questions. And can I add something there? When they turn up to find that answer, there's an ad that or an offer that they might click on and see, and you get paid for it 24 seven, doesn't, like it's all autopilot at that point. So this is, um, uh, a mid site. Uh, Labnol. Labnol, yes. This is a very old. These are three quite uh, like historical, <laughs> like they're old sites. They've been around for a long, very long time. Very famous in what Very we do. famous in what we, yeah, in what we do because of, the, and also because of their income earnings. So um, Amit is a technology blogger. He answers questions. Um, so just questions, you know, how to extract text files from PDFs, how to insert images in Google Sheet cells, very specific questions about how to do stuff. Um, his site makes a reported $70,000 per month just from that advertising that's sitting on there. How cool is that? Um, this is eHow. So this is Courtney Rosen's site. She created a whole site just about how-tos, and it's eHow. And you can see there just how to how, 10 smart ways to bug proof your backyard. It doesn't have to be complex stuff, guys. It can be quite simple, actually. And she outsources all the articles to other writers, which we're going to show you um, tonight. But that was making $650,000 per month. Now, that's a serious sum of money. It was a very big sellout to a big multinational um, media company. Yeah, so we don't know what it makes now, but it's sold for millions well, to a, to tens a big, of millions. To a tens yeah. of millions to a big media company. Actually, hundreds of millions yeah sorry. probably hundreds of millions um <laughs> and, and mashable you maybe you, mashable, if you're into if you're into us. tech and stuff you've probably seen mashable around he's a young guy a scottish guy pete cashmore same sort of thing just answers questions like that one there best gift ideas for people in long distance relationships but when people come there you can see the ads there if people click on those he gets paid for it he's not selling those shoes or anything like that it's an auto generated ad that he gets paid for, making two and a half million dollars a month. Now, these are the sorts of sites that we recommend you you buy or start to learn about how they work because they're really um, they're very valuable assets these days. But the great thing is that once you set them up, they're actually automated, twenty four seven. You get paid by Google and Amazon, and there's other big advertising networks as well. And what we want to show you in this masterclass is how you can do this at any level, and you can even do it part time. So what? What's really interesting? Like, would you have thought? I mean, all of you are probably visiting these sites every day, and potentially perhaps who realized how much money these guys are actually making out of your visiting out of you clicking an ad or clicking through and buying a product did you realize there was that much money being made from those websites um, and I, love, I think Robert Kiyosaki sums it up very well. Most people never get wealthy simply because they're not trained financially to recognize the opportunities right in front of them. The rich have learned to recognize opportunities as well as how to create them. So a lot of these money-making sites are sitting right under your nose. You probably use them every day. So tonight is about learning how to recognize these opportunities. So. This is where we start into the con like into the strategy. So if you get get your pen and paper out, make sure you take some notes because this is where we're going into how we do this and how this all works. So first of all, to start, we need to look at websites a bit differently to most people. Um, we see websites like digital real estate, mm -hmm. just like you're buying a property, um, where we're looking for um, ha websites that we can buy, we can add value through renovation and then either keep the cash flow or sell like an asset like a website like a sorry a, a real estate flip and if you think of websites as digital real estate i guess you could think of the domain name like your land or like your address you know mm -hmm. it's a good address in a good neighborhood that's what we're kind of looking for and then like the buy renovate or you know buy and renovate house strategy the actual website itself, that's like the building. That's the bit that we're going to renovate. And mm -hmm. we, we just want simple fixer-uppers. We don't want anything complex. We don't want to be completely rebuilding the house or anything like that. Just simple, you know, coat of paint, get it looking great, and getting people in the door and increasing the rents. That's basically our strategy in a nutshell. And so out of interest, is anyone here a real estate investor? Has anyone done some real estate investing? And does this strategy sound familiar to you? Um, even if you haven't done real estate investing, does this make sense? Yeah. 
Fantastic, Sam Deep. Yeah, it's it's actually quite. Matt and I are all about keeping things simple. There's a lot out there with very complicated strategies and doing all these different complex things. We're one of keeping this very simple and the basic strategy is very simple because it works. It's worked for, for hundreds of years in terms of buying, looking for value, looking for something undervalued, adding value, and then either selling it or keeping for the cash flow. And now we get to do it just with simple w- websites that you're probably seeing every single day. And you get to do this at home, at night, in your Jimmy Jams, part-time <laughs> as, you're, as you're transitioning out of your job. So the key here is to buy smart. As like any investment, you want to pick a, a, an asset that is a good, good buy, and that you can add value to. So let's have a look. We've got four steps to buying smart. And these are the four things that we're looking for or you, that you need to know in order to get into this market in a safe way. So the first thing that is super important is the valuation of websites. So if we think about it in terms of the real estate example, you, if you had half a million dollars to spend on a house, you wouldn't just walk into any old town or any suburb and just say, buy the first house for half a million dollars that you found. You'd want to shop around a bit first. You'd want to figure out, okay, well, what are houses worth here? How do I value this asset? So this is really important. We've got to do this for websites as well. And so websites are now treated as like a traditional business. And in business sales world, businesses typically sell on what's called a profit multiplier. And we'll explain what that means. Basically, it's a one to three times the yearly profit. So if a website is making around $100,000 a year, we could reasonably expect that to sell for anywhere from $100,000 to $300,000. Now, that's for a genuine website with good history and consistent profits. We're going to show you lots of examples as we go through here. Mm. But you need to understand, obviously, some sites are going to sell for more, some for less. And it depends. The more automated they are, then they're going to be worth a lot more. So they, yeah. so the multiple. Can you imagine more. if you if you had a website, if you saw a business for sale, and that business was going to make you ten thousand dollars a month, and you only had to work in it one hour a week? Which there's lots of, by the yeah. way. That, that's would would that be a would that would you be willing to pay more for that than a, than a business that you had to work uh, fifty hours a week in? Yeah. So, so we don't buy those, by no. the way. <laughs> but all the sites that, that we buy shows you tend to be, I guess you would call them semi-passive. Like yes, you're not but that's part, in... part of the valuation is the more, like Matt said, the more automated, the more valuable they generally are. Or the However, more established or older. that doesn't mean to say there aren't bargains out there in the marketplace. Um, this, is a, this is a website that came up for sale and we're going to show you where it was for sale and where you find them in a minute. But this is a client of ours. This is actually an Italian website. Yeah, it's, called, it's TV Facile. Yeah, I had our, to our, learn how to say that. That's right. So our, our client, I helped him with the due diligence call on this particular site. So this is a 15-year-old website, which is, yep, even nice if history. you don't know much about websites, you can see that's, that's a well-established evergreen website. It was on autopilot, ticking along. You know, every single month making around three and a half grand a month. So at three and a half grand a month times 12, that's about $40,000 per year. So what, based on what we've said already, what do you think this website's worth? What would you... Yeah, what would you be willing to pay for this one? What would you be valuing it? Now, obviously, you know, there's, there's lots there's of little factors, things but... to it, but what generally would you be paying? Based on the profit multiplier, yep. yeah, 40 to 120 grand. That's yeah. right. So that's a nice asset. Remember, this is a this is once it's set up, it's semi passive. Now, one thing about this particular um, website, it is very pa- very automated. It's very yeah. hands off. The actually, the owner had kind of ignored it for the yeah, last he, few years. He yeah. he'd got bored of it, and it was just sitting there ticking over. So. It, with that in mind and it having that nice age on it and the consistency we would actually probably be valuing that at a higher level of of the range so probably more towards a hundred hundred and twenty thousand for that one um but richard yeah richard we got Go on richard. got on the call with you did you did the due diligence and um you can see there he paid only 1.5 times for that website so sixty thousand dollars so think about that in a year and a half he kind of paid that money back to himself and, and basically have an asset to himself free and clear. And of course, in this masterclass, we're going to show you how you can renovate those so you get the money back quicker. That was just 
as it was sitting there. Mm. Now, this is the power of understanding valuation and knowing what to buy. Richard found what we call, it's one of our strategies, finding a diamond in the rough. Not a single other person bid on this website. And this was a recent sale. This was last year at our annual conference. This was one of the best website buys because I said to him on the call, mate, if you don't buy that, I'm going to buy it because it's such a good buy. Get in there. <laughs> that, that's your classic passive, semi-passive website that sits in your portfolio. You know, you imagine you own a couple of those. For I'm imagining for a lot of you listening to this masterclass, you know, that's getting you close to your freedom number mm. and possibly quitting your job if you own two or three of these. And that, by the way, that's what Richard's gone and done. He hasn't just bought that one. He's bought multiple sites. But that was one of his, his favorite, well, that was my favorite one for his sake. All right. So now what we want to show you is the second thing you really need to know when you're going out and buying websites, you don't want to be looking at everything. We need to narrow down the focus and target good websites to buy. And we've got a strategy around that. So obviously we want sites that are reliable. So ideally blue chip traffic and monetization, meaning they're getting their ranking in search engines. And so when people are looking up certain questions and topics, these websites, are, their pages are ranking in the search engines and blue chip monetization like Amazon, like Google, like very trusted um, advertising and referral networks. We want automated income as hands off as possible. But for us, this is our, the things that we are looking for That's because right. our intention is to buy assets that are not highly uh, don't require for 40 hour weeks to run them we want leveraged assets we don't want to be buying ourselves a job we want authentic like real profit and real traffic so we do yep. need to check that we want to make sure it's a real website that has that really authentic traffic and profit and yeah the, the, our other strategies especially in the current market is finding diamonds in the rough the ones that people are missing or not recognizing the opportunity and this comes through doing your due diligence process but of course if you look very carefully at that strategy <laughs> matt was so proud of this you've got to ask yourself like that is just awesome isn't it it's the rad strategy i love it <laughs> we've been living and breathing by that for the last decade now with when it comes this is like in all honesty this is our strategy for buying websites so these are the things we look for because people always ask us well what are the sort of sites that you target to buy so let's show you how this pans out yeah and the other most important thing is they make automated money from either advertising or referrals so referring to other people's products we don't own any of the products we just refer people on and say go and buy it here and we get paid an, a commission for that referral if they go and buy something so here's an example of one of our sites that we bought um, so it was about cars it was about you know, new cars release dates of cars stats on cars and we bought actually two sites around that topic at the same time now this one we renovated and we got it up to we bought the two sites for forty five thousand dollars and we're talking us here and when we talk about numbers we talk about profit so seven and a half thousand dollars a month profit and that profit was coming from people clicking on ads so you can see there the velocity ads um, the big red and the purple banners People, if people clicked on there, we share the advertising revenue with Google. So that was, we got those up to seven and a half thousand dollars a month. Which we're pretty pleased with. Yeah. And Liz and I are not particularly into cars. We, we had just two writers part-time overseas working with, we just told them what to do and yep. they would put the, the articles together for us and they'd post them on here. Liz didn't even know the logins of this site. This <laughs> site was so passive. Now what happened was we got an opportunity to sell it and yep. because Liz didn't even know the site or the logins, I thought, wow. Well, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Normally we don't flip this quickly, but it was just it was a pretty months. cool deal. In 12 months, we made $190,000 profit from an initial $45,000 outlay. Now that includes a seven and a half grand a month income that we were getting on autopilot. And, but I think it's a great example of what can be done and how simple these sites can be. People don't believe how easy they can work or the simplicity of the business model. But guys, this is literally under your nose every single day. I guarantee you half the websites you look at in the next 48 hours are gonna be monetized in the same way and are making way more money than what you possibly realize. Just like Robert Kiyosaki says, these opportunities are out there. Now there's another really cool way to monetize websites. Remember how we said affiliate commissions? What we wanna show you here is, talking about opportunities right under your very nose, don't discount what we would call pretty basic, basic ugly, ugly looking websites, websites on really, Let's face it, pretty odd little niches. Like this site is literally about 
fish tanks. Now, when people come here, they just talk about what are the best fish tanks to use. And when you click on it, you get cookied and you go over to Amazon. Now, that owner doesn't stock the Amazon um, products, but all we do is we send people to Amazon, we re refer them to buy these sorts of fish tanks because we like them. Products, yep. And next thing you know, you get a commission off Amazon. And actually, you get a commission not just on, if they say they bought a fish tank, you don't just get the commission on the fish tank, you get the commission on anything they buy or any commissionable product that they buy over the next 24 hours. So we've had some really cool things where, you know, someone's come to buy, uh, one of our students told us this, this funny story. She had a really natural health. natural health kind of website and she someone went over and bought some oil or something like that. And then they also bought... A turbo kit for a for, for a car, like a for Celica a... <laughs> or something like that off Amazon. So in she America. got the commission on that thousand dollar sale as yeah. well, um, which she thought was quite funny from her little natural oil site. So that's the that's why partnering. I mean, Amazon is a massive sales machine. It is designed to get people to buy and make it easy for them to buy, and you can leverage off that. So now this site was also making around three three and a half thousand dollars per month. Richards. Yeah, um, profit of around forty one thousand. And again, so you know, on a two times multiple. That'd be worth somewhere around eighty thousand, three times multiple, somewhere around one hundred and twenty thousand. So hopefully you can see already, if you own two to three of these, not only you're building up a significant side income, maybe ten, nearly up to ten grand a month, but also guys, we want you thinking these are assets. Notice how we keep saying they're worth one hundred and twenty grand. If you need the one hundred and twenty grand, you can just sell them, and we're going to show you where in just a minute. Yep. And um, yeah, Sandeep, that's all on um, Sandeep. Sorry, it's all on autopilot. So you yep. don't you don't deal with the you sellers don't deal with or the, the customers sellers at, at all. all. Don't touch them. Uh, Amazon just sends you a check or well, yeah, pays you, you. You just get an affiliate code. Amazon handles it. Same with Google. Yep. You'll that's have an account like where you build up your affiliate your commissions, and then they pay you. Um, now the other cool thing that you can do if you don't have a lot of money to start, or you, you've got a bit more time you can actually be building these assets for yourself as well. And you can build them for very little in terms of, um, unlike property, you've got, you don't have tradies, you don't have painters, you don't have plumbers, you, you don't, don't have, have all that you stuff. You don't have council development fees and, and the delays no, there. You, you just, just literally start it tonight. Like if you've got the once, you've you know got what the you're digital doing, skills yeah. and know what you're doing. Now this is a slow burn strategy, right? But yeah. it's, it's a lot, we find a lot of our students love doing this as they're building their portfolios because they can just build it very part time over, over a period of time. And yeah, this and is what Chris and Mark did. Yeah, so Chris started out with us learning how to buy and renovate websites. Now, she's a seamstress. She's not, she, she really disliked computers and she swore she would never work on computers, but her husband actually started with us and then she got into it and decided rather than buying them, she just wanted to build them herself in little passion niches that were in, and she hit her $100,000 year goal, um, complete technophobe, and like she said to us at the time, uh, before, she gave us a quote, before training with Matt and Liz, I hadn't had a stable income for the last 16 years, I didn't even know where emails went at the time. <laughs> and now, what Chris does, it's really cool, she said, I should mention, these guys live in rural Victoria, and what they've done over the last few years, especially over COVID now, they just um, house sit farms. As long as there's internet access, Chris will sit there with a laptop, earning her money, building a site. Now you can go to the next level though as well. Don't always be thinking small hobby sites. There's another friend of ours who we followed along his journey. Um, he often speaks at our events, he's Albors. He started a website here in Australia doing just literally a review site of cars. You may have, if you're into cars, you've probably seen it. It was called Car Advice. Now it's a very famous, it became famous, but it literally just started exactly like how, what we're showing you here. And he actually sold that to Channel 9 a number of years ago oh. for not oh, 35 million, it was actually $62 million. And he talks about this at our events. And what's really cool about that is, he's got a digital skill. The last time that we did an interview with him on our website, you'll see what took him 10 years to do to get to a $62 million sale. He's gone out and recreated a very similar site and he's just done it in 18 months and he's already at $25 million. So, and of course, that's his garage there <laughs> and he owns every car of his dream that he's ever had since he was a kid. But this, was a, this all started out, guys, as a passion 
He loved cars, obviously. He started a website. He got really good at it. He started monetizing it with ads. And he found that big corporates wanted to advertise on there. And because it was such a, a good website, and he's got a digital skill for life that obviously, Al Balls is into doing the big deals now. So there is no limits or glass ceilings in this game. It's entirely up to what you want to do. And it's about learning the skills and understanding how these websites work and how you can renovate them. Yeah. All right. So now the next question is, okay, where do we get these good, where do we get these websites to buy? So where should you start looking? So if you're going to go out there and and start having a look at these opportunities, um, the first place that we always recommend everybody start is on Flipper. So it's flipper.com. It's right here in Australia, but it's a worldwide site based in here in Australia, but it's a worldwide site. I'll actually say it's the biggest world site for buying and selling website buying and selling websites. Um, you can buy websites from anywhere from a few hundred dollars up to $10 million or more. So there's this full range of websites on there. You can see there's sites for beginners, there's sites that are basically replace your income, there's recession proof sites, there's all sorts of um, deals on there. Now, of course, we, we target very specific sites on that platform. As we've been talking about, we target content websites, not the e-commerce and not the SaaS and all the other things. Um, but this is definitely a place where you can go and start start looking at deals and realize what's out there for sale. Well, we actually recommend Flipper for beginners because it is so beginner friendly and you can buy smaller sites and learn on very, very safely. And it's exactly the same skill set once you start getting bigger. Yeah. Um, and so once you do step up to potentially if you've got $30,000 plus to spend, Flipper has curated deals for the bigger for the bigger sites. And then you've got other big brokers around the world like Empire Flippers who uh, who have grown up a lot. Um, you can see some, of their, see some of their sales. You can see some of their sales. They're 4 600000 600, 600 So if you're a higher net worth and you want to get into bigger deals, obviously you're getting much higher cash flows. And similarly with FE International. And the thing about these other big brokers is, and this is a big marketplace now. This is a an established industry. I think I'm sure a lot of you listening here probably don't realize, wow, this is a full industry. There's full-on mergers and acquisitions going, and you can see here at FE International, and we know all these brokers and interview them on our site, but you can see there's a lot of private equity firms and venture capital firms now getting into this, buying up these simple, what were once upon a time, little hobby sites that hopefully you listening are fixing up and building into multi-million dollar websites, and you sell them out on platforms like this to the big corporates. But and, yeah, we start out small let's first. Start All small. our students. Well, that's the cool thing. That's yeah. the great thing about this marketplace. So this this you, is a recent yeah. screenshot of that we took off Flipper, showing you a couple of deals, and this is what we wanted to show you. This is why we recommend Flipper. See, on those other big sites, you can't easily buy sites under fifty thousand dollars or anything like that. So it's hard for a beginner to get started. But if you go on a Flipper any day of the week, you can find hundreds of deals under a thousand dollars, and you can see we've highlighted these ones here, and they're in things like best tennis shoes, waterproof gazebos, complete car comfort. And look at the bottom one, that's all about cheeses. Now, who would have thought that would make money, but sold for 800 bucks, making $11 a month. I mean, these aren't gonna make you rich straight away, but watch this space, watch what you can do with these sort of hobby sites. Some of these sites can turn into nice little sales, while you're or nice learning. little learners, um, like uh, Jazzy, uh, Jasmine and Yvette's site. So they're a mother-daughter team. And the, one of the first sites, uh, Jasmine actually bought this one. She bought trampolizing. So it just basically reviews trampolines. And she bought that for $320 and she renovated it and she got it up to making around $300 per month, which is in itself an amazing return. This is why she was think, at uni, yep, studying. The, Paid three hundred dollars, now making three hundred dollars per month, and then she sold that for six thousand dollars. So that's and a nice way for her to raise some extra money, which she now put into the next big, the next step, the next size website. But the other thing is for Jasmine and Yvette, this was their learning. So once they had achieved that, they knew they had the digital skills. To both of them, have quit their jobs and they do this now full time, and so. Not a bad way to earn while you learn. Yeah. And here's some other websites listed on Flipper. You can see there's a whole range of, you can basically go shopping for for what you you want. And this is the great thing in this marketplace is it's really a choose your own adventure. You decide what you want to create, like have, what sort of business, 
um, how will you want to work, what sort of team you want to have, and then you can go and find that on places like Flipper. So and you, you can, can see there's the plenty different. there. This is a recent screenshot with incomes of around the $10,000 a month. You can buy those. Now, Five you would ten. not do this as a beginner. Obviously, you need to learn a few things, and this is what we want to show you. Yeah, well, the, sort of yeah, the very next doing. thing, the fourth part of that is normally the number buying one question smart at this point. is, okay, how do you know it's the real deal? Because we don't want to jump in without really understanding what is going on. So that is where we need to learn about website due diligence. You need to know, really important, what questions to ask. And really good due diligence isn't about just figuring out, okay, well, yes or no. It's actually about the part of it is asking the right questions to understand the valuation and also the opportunities in that website because there's been so many websites where we've bought them because the owner just hasn't seen that there's maybe little problems on the site that that um, we've bought sites where the main pages that got all the visitors didn't have any monetization on it, no ads, no products for sale. So we literally just bought them, put products on them, uh, referral products, and boom, suddenly we've doubled, tripled, quadrupled the income um, just by doing very simple things. The other thing that we're looking for, so we're looking for the opportunities to ask the right questions. We do wanna make sure that the, that the website is the right deal for you. So, um, with a lot of those brokers now, they will vet the deals. They will make sure that the traffic and the profit is real. They will they will uh, double check those things for you. But you also need to know, okay, well, is this business going to be something I can manage? Is this something I can grow? Are there opportunities in it? And so there's some other questions around the marketplace, around what you're looking for that you also need to ask to make sure that it's the right one for you. But in essence, really, due diligence is about verifying verifying what you've been told about that website, and especially... Yeah, especially everything we're talking about on this masterclass, which is we need to make sure that it actually makes the money that it's claiming mm -hmm. and that it has genuine traffic. Considering our whole strategies revolve around traffic, you know, the amount of people that visit the website. Now, the good news is compared to bricks and mortar businesses, this is a lot easier because everything online, when you think about it, is tracked, everything's clickable, everything's tracked. So we use a free tool called Google Analytics. Most, nearly every website runs Google Analytics these days. It's fairly difficult to fake Google Analytics. And what the brokers do now is they insist on a live feed into Google Analytics so you can actually see it live. So you know you're getting the real thing. You can also do video walkthroughs of actual bank accounts and affiliate accounts and Google Ads accounts. And of course, once deals get over $30,000, like Liz just said, they, they, this is a mature marketplace now in terms of um, the, the safety of what these brokers are looking for when they list these. And so what they do is they help verify and vet the sites, typically 30 grand and above. But like Liz said, this is still, remember, the broker is working for the seller. So you still need to make sure in your due diligence that the deal's right for you and it suits your skill set. And you need to know what you're going to do with that site when you buy it. All right, so there you go. There's our four though. steps. Four steps to buying smart. Um, now, once you've bought, what we want to do the is stuff. the fun stuff is renovate. And the exciting thing is, like we said, no trade is needed. No. Um, we get in there, and what we our goal for renovation is to have a site where we can do some simple, fairly quick things in order to do some easy wins that will hopefully increase the profits quite quickly. And what that means is you not only increase the value of the asset, but also it, it decreases the amount of time that you pay it back to yourself. So let's say we bought a website making $1,000 a month for $24,000. Um, and we double that income to $2,000 a month, we're gonna pay ourselves back not in two years, but now in one year. So that 2,000 a month, once you've kind of paid that back to yourself, that money, that asset is yours, free and clear. It's paying you $2,000 a month. Plus it's gone up in value. Plus it's gone up in value. And now you can use that money either to compound that growth even further. Yep. And that's what we like to do to compound, put that money back into the site so that it grows even further. And that is where you really, you really start to accelerate wealth because you're compounding. And also the money that you will have paid back to yourself, you can invest in another website. So renovation, really important part of this process. But what we wanna do is 
the three M's. So we have the three M's of, of renovation. And the first is the makeover. Basically, when we want to tidy up the site, get people to the good stuff. Make sure they're seeing the offers. Make sure that they're clicking on ads. Making sure that it's easy to get around the site. And so because let's let's have a look at an example to show you just sort of what we mean by that. So this is an example of uh, this is Sam Al's website, and I think she bought this for about six, what was it sixteen fifty sixteen hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. It has four hundred and sixty articles on it. Um, all talking about answering questions and helping people so with, around interior with design. Interior design. But the thing is, you'll typically see these sites for sale, particularly in the hobby niches, where they're set up by people that don't know how to set up websites. Maybe like you listening to this site now. Now we've got a specific process where we renovate these because typically it's a mishmash of articles and it, and it's kind of a, a scattergun approach. And but just for the content alone on this site. Just so you know, typical articles are worth anywhere from ten to fifty dollars these days, and that's a wide range. But even at you know ten bucks an article, that site was worth four and a half grand just for the content alone, and Samar got it for sixteen hundred and fifty dollars. Now here's what she did: she renovated it. So this is what it looks like today, and I think you'll agree that looks a lot more professional. But more importantly, it helps with the conversions because people can get to where they need to go to, so they can either go to indoor stuff, houses, and outdoor stuff, and we can teach total beginners to do this. Samar had never worked on websites in her life. This was her very first website that she bought and fixed up. It's the first time she had done it. So that's our first step, just simply tidying up websites. Now, remember the, the cheese niche? Well, this is a cute story. Yeah. You wouldn't have thought, you know, you saw that site back on Flipper as a little site, under a thousand bucks making, what, 50 bucks a month or whatever. Well, <laughs> clients of ours, Nathan and Alexa, this is where they learn on a on a site called Curd Nerd. Now, same thing, this was their first site that they learnt on, and they, it it's was all a bit of a mess. It's all a bit of a mess, that's what it used to look like. It was a simple guide to worm farming on it. Like, I don't know what? why that is on there. So it just didn't make sense, and there was stuff everywhere, and this is a hobbyist site, right? Making $17 a month, you wouldn't think it's worth very much. They bought it for around a thousand bucks. Now what's really interesting, they followed our strategy and this is what they did to it. This is how they renovate it. Again, very similar to what Samar's done. And you'll see right in the middle there, that's a, actually a big ad for GoToWebinar. But so that's how they started to monetize it. They put ads on there, they tidied it up so people could get around and they sold it for $17,000. So in investment world, see our goal is when you're investing is to get a 10x return, right? <laughs> they blitzed that one. Yeah. Plus they were making money a couple hundred bucks a month as they went through, but this was awesome. This was their learner site, bought for $1,950, sold for $16,900. Now, that's a winning strategy. At that point, they realized they had the skills to do this full time, and now that's literally what they do. They find hobby sites, and they fix them up over time. This doesn't happen instantly, but, and they just put new content. Well, we're gonna show you some of the other stuff that they do. And this is another favorite story of ours, a really good example of buying these hobby sites. So this is one of our students, Annette. This is another one of our best website buyers that we saw last year. What's really interesting about this, this is a travel blog that she bought. She bought it for $5,000. Now the really interesting thing is, she bought it privately in a private Facebook page. She's a grey nomad. The person that originally owned it had it for 14 years. It was a travel blog, 14 years old, and the person said, oh, I'm actually re retiring. I'm gonna stop being a grey nomad. I'm gonna close down the site. Does anyone want it? Does anyone want to offer me some money? Annette had done our course. She realized how valuable this thing was. She paid five grand for it, and now this makes $4,000 per month, that's net profit. So now Annette's quit her job and she's traveling, <laughs> she's around, traveling around as a gray nomad and she's got a few of these sites, but this is one of her favorite sites because it was just a no brand. Now when you think about it, even on a three times multiple, where that's what, over a hundred grand straight away. And that only cost her $5,000. So think of it in the asset value. She's already had offers on this site. All right, so that is the makeover. The second step is the money. We want to maximize the income and profits from any site that we buy. And sometimes that's just as simple as making sure that people are finding the right pages or tidying up. Part of the makeover is also thinking about the money and what, how this website's going to make money. Um, this is another one of Nathan and Alexa's sites, and we had to feature it just because it was such a good buy. Um, Diamond in the Rough, um, the owner had been a 
had created this site, had been going for years and years, hadn't been making much money at all out of it. They were bored. It was great content, but they wanted out. And Nathan and Lisa bought that site for four hundred dollars, and it now makes four thousand dollars a month. So they've they've added content, they've revived the site, they've um, added more monetizations to it. Um, so it has affiliate income, it has monet- it has advertising income. They've diversified the monetizations. Um, and that has been just like that. I think that was our web best website buy. I think it was four hundred bucks. I like, jokingly said to really? them live in front of our whole audience. These guys are bargain. They get they, bargains. Well, not only that, Liz, with this particular site because I've coached them on this site. I said I laugh if this is the one that turns into a multi million dollar seller, which it could do in the <laughs> gardening do, niche yeah. now. That's a very popular niche. All these hobby niches now have suddenly become very popular with the big end buyers. So if you can buy these little ones and fix them up. You do stand a chance down the track, a very high chance now of selling them out for millions of dollars. So that's what Nathan Alexa wanted to do with that one. And of course there was Lisa. So she bought that site for 2K, renovated. And part of her renovation, what was the key here was the monetization. And one of the biggest things she did was it was actually making money out of uh, the Amazon affiliate program, which is awesome. But the Amazon of program only pays around three, three to six percent commissions, depending on the products. So um, Lisa went out and found other affiliate programs that would give her fifteen percent, twenty percent. And actually, uh, for some of them, she she approached the affiliate managers and said, "Hey, I've got a site. I'm sending you a heap of traffic. Can you put my like? Can I get more commission?" And they said yes. So now she's triple what would 10 times almost her monetization just by asking and by getting better offers on her website so so this is the thing some it doesn't have to be complex stuff sometimes it's just about asking we've done the same you just ask your affiliate manager say hey uh, can we have more commission and they often say yes uh the number three the momentum so this is about growing the website and a lot of people ask, okay, how do you maintain and grow mm. these websites? What are the and, main costs of running a, yeah, a website? Yeah, the costs of and these websites, and the main one is content. So these websites live by content, as in um, articles that answer questions and solve problems and help people make buying decisions. And to give you an idea of how that kind of looks in an example, this is another one. This is a, one of Lisa's sites. That she so, actually learned on. This yeah, is the one she was one. one she this is one of on. the ones that she learned on. So she went on a big content drive, and this is what we get our students to do: go on a big content drive. So for fifteen to twenty dollars per article, she she went on this content drive on this site. So the co- site cost her thirty five hundred dollars. So another little, quite small site, and the average monthly profit was one hundred and forty eight dollars when it was purchased. She added 60 articles and that cost her around $2,300 to pay for all the articles, get them on the site, get all that done. And you can see there on the right hand side, that's the traffic graph. That's the number of visitors coming to that website. So after she added all those articles, you can see the uptick. The more content you add, the more people will find the site. And after only a few months, the monthly profit was that $2,000 a month. So from an investment of $2,000, she's now making $2,000 a month. And that asset's now worth, valued at around $70,000. So this is one of the ways that we, especially for content sites, the main key there is getting traffic in by putting more content on there. And the good thing is, and we know what you're all asking, of course, in this day and age, we've got this thing called ChatGPT. ChatGPT, which now, is making it now, even easier. there's some easier. tricks to using that. Yeah. It's not perfect for these content sites, but it definitely makes, it's gonna make makes life content easier. even easier for our community. And that's what we're really excited about. That's a watch this space moment. Um, I think it's about to be, get a lot easier. We're already testing that out on a bu- whole bunch of websites. And I love this site too. And again, like, again, another site bought for four and a half thousand, one week work per year. But yeah, this is where you start to um, separate time and money. And I think for a lot of people, Mm. that is the issue that you're having to show up for work or you're, you know, if you're a professional, you always have to be there in order to earn more money, you have to put in more time. And I should mention, Nathan knows nothing about crochet. It's his team that writes. He's just got two writers that write this for him, right? And so this site makes money while he sleeps. That income is totally, like Liz said, it's totally disconnected from time for Nathan. And so think about that. 
$8,000 a month on its own. Maybe it's not a lot of money to you, but let's just do a couple of quick numbers. That's two grand a week, right? That's his profit, okay, clear profit. So if you earn 50 bucks an hour, obviously adjust the, the numbers for yourself, but for someone on $50 an hour, that's actually a full 40 hour work week that you've just freed up. And of course, if you do that just a few more times, our guess is you're getting freedom, okay? <laughs> so that's for most people, that's pretty much getting towards their freedom. So that's our whole point here, guys, these simple sites. Once you've got the digital skills, okay, you've got to work at them a bit. Obviously, when you're learning, this isn't something you just walk straight into. There's a bit of work to learn this stuff. You've got to put some content on there and understand how they go together. But once you've got all this come together and you can build up that portfolio, for a lot of you listening, this is probably going to be getting close to your freedom numbers and no more trading time for money. Like you said at the beginning of the masterclass, this is what you're looking for to free up time. And it's really important for this strategy too, you don't have to do it all yourself. So um, a quick story from one of our coaches actually, um, Calum, one of the first websites that they built for a client, so this is the other way that a lot of our students um, use their digital skills, they build websites for businesses and and get paid for it. And these guys got a really big client and they had already booked to go to Fiji for a holiday. So they got their team to, to do, the, do the job for them. There's one um, person. Yep, yeah, one guy. Oh, we yeah, that's team. right, team. It's a, team of one. Yeah, team of one. Um, and they realized, hey, wow, we can actually run this business um, leveraged. And that last year they did 18 weeks of travel. So what so, Calum's done, he was in this full-on corporate role, and for him and Jen, his partner, and we see this with a lot of, maybe you're in a younger age group, so normally we, we train people 40 years plus, but those people in our community who are a lot younger, what we've noticed these days, they're all building laptop lifestyle businesses, and that was really important to these guys. They were burnt out from the, the corporate, corporate rat yeah. race, and they use their digital skills, really interestingly, to build websites for local businesses, because it's the same skill set, exactly the same skill set, and it very quickly replaced Calum and Jen's six-figure income that they had from their corporate. So now they can just travel and they still work off their laptops and that's how they built their lifestyle. Also, Calum does work, um, do, do some coaching with us as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you might meet with Calum. Um, and this is Lucy and Gary, they are awesome. Um, now they were in a position where they were struggling with an offline business and, um, and Lucy doesn't mind us saying this, she was also having some really serious health issues she was diagnosed with ms she was told you cannot have stress in your life so they really had to change they were at a point where backs to the wall they had to make something change well she was and also told that she would never work again yes which was um and so they they did our they came through with us and they learned these digital skills they bought sites um probably their best their where's is one of the best website buyers i think we've heard they bought a site for twenty thousand dollars renovated it and got it to making thirteen thousand dollars per month and now they have hundred thousand dollar plus months working from home from their rural dream property um, and you know, like Kayla and, she, and Lucy has, has the time and then they're, they're, they're stress free to do projects she cares about. And, um, and again, luckily that's for us, Lucy's one of our coaches as well. So she, she gets to create, they've both created the safety and freedom through having a portfolio of websites. So and for Lucy and Gary, they bought a wide range of websites, just like Mark and, and Sylvia did with, that we yeah. mentioned at the beginning. So they started out. Um, with about a six thousand dollar website build, and then they just kept kept buying a, a number of sites, got their skills better, and they got up to ten grand a month. And now their portfolio's got over five hundred thousand of um, value. It's valued. Um, and so this is about getting multiple streams of income. You can hear that there. These people have a portfolio of websites, and that's what we do as well. We want to spread our risk. We want to have not just one website, we want to have several websites so that even if something happens with one of them, we've still got income coming along from others. If we've got real estate and we've got shares and we've got some business, because I think the most dangerous number right now is one, one job, mm. one source of income. And for a lot of people, that's what they're using this strategy for, is to spread the risk, is to have another source of income coming in and also another skill set. So for many of our graduates, 
they now have the ability to generate income, not just by building a portfolio, but also by having digital skills that are employable, that have got them paid more at work, Mm -hmm. or that they're able to build websites for businesses and generate income in that way as well. And like Warren Buffett says, it does allow you to compound your your income as well, or compound your results by having that wide range of portfolios. Now, there's another strategy that you can do in here, which is not what we do ourselves so much, but you can flip websites. This is an interview we did with a guy called Joe Valley, who's one of the world's leading website brokers. And one of his clients did exactly that. He started out, just like we're suggesting to you, start out with a small website buy of $2,000. He built it up, flipped it for seven and a half grand six months later, built that up, flipped that one for $20,000, bought another one, flipped that for $220,000. So at this stage, he's really getting his skills honed in. And because he started with no money, so he just had to build up his bank that way. On the last flip that he do, so he bought a website for 220 grand, he sold it out. You can see it there for $9 million. He did this to give you an idea of how long that took him. That took him about, um, I think it was five years Oh yeah, it's on the, the, it's on the interview yeah, there. Well. So four flips to $9 million in five years. Now that's seriously impressive. Now the reason why we've seen this happen so quickly in this marketplace is because it's so much more leverage with websites. They work 24 seven worldwide market. They're not like bricks and mortar businesses. They're very, very leveraged to get out there to a entire worldwide market. Now, if your goal is for those very reasons, if you do have that um, you know, bucket list goal in your life to do a big sellout to a corporate for you know like a million dollars or a five million or a twenty million dollar sale, then this is definitely a marketplace we would highly recommend you look at compared to traditional bricks and mortar business or compared to real estate because it's so much quicker in our experience for those reasons. But our guess is that. This is more probably what you're after if you're listening to this. And that is to make that extra 5,000 or 10,000 or $20,000 a month side income with maybe, so the ability to either quit your job or to work the hours from wherever you want. And now is definitely a time to be able to do that. We're still in a growth market in this digital space. Um, There is a lot more growth to come. And so, if this is something that excites you, if, if, if you've been intrigued and captured in, by this idea and you want to take it further, then what we can do is make it a whole lot easier for you with our help. So we've just shown you our strategy, the steps that we take to target certain websites, to buy them well, to renovate them, um, the sort of sites that we invest in. But if you really want to leverage off our experience and our proven systems and support and take this to the next level as quickly and safely as possible, then that's where the Digital Investors Program might be a good option for you. And we'll just take a few minutes to show you how that program works and how you can start working with us if you'd like to, if you'd like to take this further. So the goals for that program is to buy websites with good profit or profit potential using those proven buying strategies that we've been talking about tonight. And then being able to increase the website cash flows and add value with simple renovations. We wanna keep it simple, we wanna keep it fast. And then the goal is to build that portfolio of websites. So generate as automated cash flow as you want to. So again, like we said, it's a it's a choose your own adventure, but we can give you the skills and help guide you to get the portfolio that's right for you. And ultimately, the goal is to create freedom, a way to work the hours you want, from wherever you want, making how much you want, with no office, no commute, no on-site staff, no stock, and idea like what's great for us, no debt. Um, so here's how we help you get those those results. First of all, as you can appreciate, there's a, there's a lot to learn here. Mm-hmm. This is something that you do need to learn some stuff to be successful at it. So we give you a really solid foundation in this digital marketplace. And we do that through step-by-step training. It's designed for beginners. You can listen at any time on any device, you can listen in your car, on your commute. So wherever you are, you can be training yourself in this new marketplace. And the modules that were, first of all, we are just go through what how we do that and how we structure that. So module one and two are all about starting right. So 
getting a lot more detail of our strategy, how to structure your portfolio, where to start, what to be looking for to start with, all the essentials you need to have in place, what accounts you need, um, what tools you need. And we can guide you to the free ones, the ones that, or the very low cost ones, so you can start on a budget and grow from there. Um, and all of this is in step-by-step -step guides, very beginner friendly. We assume you have no knowledge and we take you through that process. And it's really interesting. We've got even quite experienced people come on the program and haven't real, have learned differently through our process and, our, and what we do, which is quite unique in the marketplace. Module three is our quick start guide. So if you are a super action taker, if you love to get in there and get, make things happen straight away, you'll learn in here how to buy your first website for under $1,000 in 10 days or less. So you will be in the marketplace straight away if you want to. Um, and that's, that's us guiding you how to get in quickly, but still safely. And again, just following those steps. If you're a bit more, you know, you like to know everything first, that's fine. You don't have to buy a site that quickly, but this can be really good to overcome that first hurdle. So when you are ready to buy a site, just to get into that first site for a thousand dollars or less. Then we go on to module four, which is the buying smart. Now we get into much more detail about how to find those right websites to buy, how to filter all those listings on Flipper and narrow down to the ones that are the best ones for this strategy. Uh, valuation, so as we as we mentioned, not only have we got the profit multiplier, we've also got other factors that, that determine how much a website is worth. So we go into a much more detail on that due diligence like all those questions you need to ask to stay safe to find those diamonds in the rough knowing what the questions are to ask and negotiation too so you can structure deals all sorts of different ways in this online world so how to get the best deal and also how to structure a great deal step module five is all about the website setup and security so once you buy that asset that website asset getting it into your possession securely. Um, these are really simple guides. They help you optimize your new sites so they're all ready to go. They're safe, they're, um, and then it's about you being confident managing that portfolio. So understanding what's going on in the back end so that you can guide your, your team and also know that the right things are being done. Module six about renovation. So this is where we get our simple, easy wins first. We go through the three M's, um, where you need to focus to get the most value. So this is about learning what are the levers to pull in a website business mm. that make the most difference to the cash flow and the value. Um, we teach you as well some really essential digital skills like SEO, search engine optimization. Now this is something that seems scary to a lot of people, but we make it really simple. Um, and we've got absolute beginners doing amazing SEO, uh, website design and monetization, of course. So just getting those basic or those essential digital skills. Now that can be something that can actually add to your income in your job or potentially something you can apply directly to the websites you already own or your biz own business websites. I guarantee there's many of our students who save thousands on SEO because they now understand what's actually going on. And website design skills as mm, well. Yes. Our module sell seven is all about selling high. So our goal is to have you have valuable asset assets right from day one. So there's some things that you need to put in place to make sure it's ready for sale at any time. So if you need to liquidate, you want the cash up front. Now these websites sell within weeks. So you can liquidate these assets very quickly and we want you to be able to set up so you get top price whenever you want to or need to sell. And then modulate is outsourcing. This is where we get the leverage, where you learn how to free up your time, the people that you need to be able to run this with very little hands-on work. Mm -hmm. And it's not a big team. Most of our guys who are doing six figures uh, have maybe a team of one, two to three people Max. and just these essential people that you need. So this is, we're gonna show you who you need and how to find the right ones, how to pick the right ones. Now we've set this up like a diploma. Mm. So, because we always get asked, how long does this take to study if we do this course? It is literally like a diploma. And you think about it, to do an MBA in Australia, it's gonna take you two years plus and $50,000. Well, the Digital Investor Program is not gonna take you that long, nor cost anywhere near that. <laughs> but it's basically we've designed it so that it should take you around 12 months if you do this part-time, because we realize most people that come here are working full-time jobs typically in, in um, full on, you know, five to nine type situations. So there's plenty of opportunity to do this over 12 months, but if you want to get into it, you can do it in 12 weeks full time.
Yep. And that means you'll be in there buying sites and building your portfolio. Um, now, uh, recognizing that this is partly, this is training, but also there's action steps. So in the training, we'll tell you, okay, here's the action you need to take. And then you go away and do that. And then you come back and do a bit more training and go away and do your next action. So it is very much practical hands-on, hands-on training. And that's why we say, um, you know, you can do this at your own pace. It's up to you. And now we also want you to put in, because speaking of action, we want you to put in place the what you're learning, so applying that knowledge in the right way so that you you stay safe in the marketplace. So we do that through our checklists. And the first one is <laughs> the most important. This Absolutely. is this is our personal due diligence checklist. This has been 20 or 30 years in the making um, and of a 30 years worth of business experience in buying and selling that whole time. So this is every question you ask. This is everything that you check before you buy a website to know that it's legit and also that it's the right one for you. To give you an idea, this is a 17 page document. Yep. So, but it teaches you how to do this as you go through. We've designed it to be that long so that it steps you through it. And the cool thing is, uh, it, the more times you do it, the quicker Easier. you become yep. and, and you will internalize that process. So you'll be able to run your eyes over a deal. Our goal is you get to the point where you can run your eyes over a deal and know, okay, yes, that's for me or no, it's not. Then we've got our reno, reno plans, step-by-step plans for rejuvenating your websites, growing your websites, exactly what you've got to do to maintain and grow that as those assets. And your security and website setup. So this is a checklist of everything you need to make sure that the website's safe, make sure that it's set up to be ranking well in the search engines. So you can actually give this to your virtual assistant to say, okay, these are the things we need to put in place and they can get that done for you. Um, and also, we, we're very personal. We, we love our community. Um, and so we want to bring you into the digital investing community, starting with a personal onboarding session. So one of our awesome coaches, and you saw a few of them throughout tonight, um, they will call you, they will have a chat to you about where you're at and what you want to achieve and help point you in the right direction for what's the best way to get you set up from the start and where you should focus. These are all actual star graduates of ours as yeah. well. So they know every part of our course, they're just amazing. So now the other thing that we have is our digital investing community where we do monthly live group coaching Q and A's with Liz and I on webinars like this. But yeah. we also so you get, have... to, you get to interact with us personally. Yep. And, so, so, and we, yeah. we swap. Um, deals that we're looking at, we should give you market updates, we go live onto the broker sites and show you the sorts of websites we're looking at. We might do some live due diligence or live web renos. We also show you know the tools and resources we're looking at at the moment. But also, we have our private digital investors Facebook group, so you can connect with, this is a very unique community. There's not a lot of people here in Australia or, or around the world. The world. Yeah. We've got people from all around the world now as well buying and selling websites and particularly beginners so you can help each other out with individual little questions and you can connect up with other like-minded people. And we've of course got full email support, technical support. So if there's any questions, you can email in. Tony and Jen are there. They are awesome. They will help you get through anything that you're facing. And plus, if especially if you're non-techie, one of the things that we noticed that a lot that kind of were, was holding people back was that they they weren't sure what to do once they bought the site for the transfer. So we sort that out for you. We'll give you two website transfers done for you. That's our techie making sure the website gets transferred and is all set up in the right way. So that gets you in a place where you can just go out and find the deals and then you know that your site's going to be transferred to you and it'll be all safe and secure. Oh, now here's the big, here's the big one. This is our Digital Investors Annual Summit. And um, this is where you can really accelerate your learning. It really will get you into action. You get to meet a whole group of amazing people who are all investing in websites and potentially get your million dollar idea as well. So when we ask our students what they love most about our courses, this is one of the big, the live events are a big part of it. And this is a closed door event. You need to be on the Digital Investor Program to get access into this event because it's an exclusive. It's just training with Liz and I. It's just us for three days going through with you the strategies of what we're doing and what our students are doing, in particular showing what our students are doing. Of course, these days it's live streamed. Um, we have a bespoke platform that you can attend and so there's lots of networking opportunities. Yeah, you get to and sit at tables just like you do in a live yep. live or live um, thing. 
And um, so you get four tickets to that to that event. Now you can use those tickets how you like. You can come four times in a row, or you can bring your family, or you you know who, who or your business partner, whoever you want to bring. You can use those four tickets for. And you're also going to get to meet a whole range of our champions. So these guys are our graduates who are out there and creating incomes for themselves. All, all of those guys would be six-figure incomes. Yep. Um, and they've typically so, been with us for quite a number of years. So what's great at the annual summit, you can have a chat to them and see what their journey's been like, what they've done, what sort of strategies have they picked. Are they building websites? Are they buying websites? How are they renovating them? You can just chat to them privately during the breaks about how they're making money online. Yeah, it's an awesome way to get networked in this, in this, um, in this marketplace. Now, if you can't make it live, we, of course, have the recordings. We make the recordings available for you. Yeah, so you can attend anytime, anytime, anywhere. All right, so in the program there, you get the complete website investment training course, the quick start guide, so you can own that first website in 10 days or less, a resource pack, including that due diligence, the reno plans, the security and website checkup, the outsourcer checklists, plus the personal onboarding session, live Q&A group coaching sessions, full email support, and the website transfer package plus the membership on the Digital Investor Facebook group and the Digital Investors Summit. So that's a total value of over $15,000. And normally, that's what you'd need to invest to get access to our programs and all our knowledge and our training and our resources and our support. But what we've done is redesigned this program in a way that you can start for a lot less than that. And actually, we're going to do something even better. So cross that out. Because Matt and I, like our goal, our goal is for you to be successful. It's great for everybody when you are successful and actually make this happen for yourself. So we sat down and thought from all our years of coaching and our experience in this market, thinking about, okay, how can we make this as easy as possible for people to be successful, to go through and make a six-figure digital income from this strategy? So we've come up with four big bonuses that we know will make the most difference to your results. And the first one of those is giving you the digital skill to be able to build your own website for free. So you can do this, you can build a website in a day, how to build a $3,000 website in a day, it's a re- again, it's very beginner friendly, easy to follow, step by step, and it's designed to just set you up for success online. Because what we've noticed is when our students do this program, they actually become better buyers, better investors, and this this course in itself, it's usually a separate course, it's valued at $9.97. Um, this course in itself can make you money. So for a lot of our students, they take what they learn in this course and they start building some simple websites for local businesses. And uh, this is Daryl, and he is not he's not techie at all. He's a, he, pilot, he's a trainer. pilot trainer. And he built this little website for a local business around his, in, in his local area, Happy Garden Sprinkler Systems, and he sold it for $1,000. So he made $1,000 out of that website that he built himself. This is Ra. She's working in a warehouse for $20.5 an hour. She now earns six figures from home. And this is one of her first websites she built for a local business she knew. She made $2,000 out of that. So sold it for two grand. And this is Rosemary. She builds beautiful sites now. And this was actually one of her first ones. She's a music teacher. And now she works full time online. Her whole family, they all work together online. And she sold that for $3,000. So you can actually, we want to give you that include that course as a bonus so you can generate income pretty quickly actually um, once you've learned how to do that uh, we've got students who make money very quickly from that from that skill plus you get certified in WordPress website development from the eBusiness Institute so you can use that potentially for your employees for employers um, and you get a personal website review so one of our coaches will actually go through the website with you make sure it's all good do a certificate of completion, and you get the badges. If you are gonna go on and do some more work like that, you can have those certification badges on your website. Now, bonus number two. This is important. If you're currently working and you don't have a lot of spare time, but you know you wanna do something about this, you wanna make a change, you wanna get the new skill, and be building something for your future, then this makes a massive difference. Because you know how we said, 
It takes generally 12 months part-time. What we've noticed over the last few years in particular is people seem to be very time pressured these days. So mm. what we've gone ahead and done, you've just gone, right, you can have five years to do this at your own pace. So you just study part-time, however long you want. We're gonna be here for, for the next five years with our team. You get everything. So you just get extended access. It doesn't cut off after 12 months like normal diplomas do you'll get a full five years so that we can help you achieve these goals. Because the reality is people, if you're transitioning out of a full on role, you're probably working long hours, you might need a little bit more time to study this uh, in the evenings. Yeah, so you've got five years. And along those lines too, how can we support you? Bonus number three, we want you to be able to overcome the hurdles. We've noticed um, after coaching through this people through this for over 10 years, we know that having a coach makes a massive difference. And this will be a friendly, experienced Aussie guide. They've, they've been through our course. They're going to help you. So if you get stuck, they'll just be a Zoom call away to help you get through. And I think this is one of the most valuable things we can offer because we've seen the results. When people can get the answers to their questions, get the help, and may go through any challenges, it makes all the difference. Now, not only that, guys, this is, these are special coaches. These aren't your average coaches. These are our star students. You've got Tony, who's been with us for many, many years. You've got Calum, who's been with us for many, many years. You've got Nathan Alexa, who you've heard Peeps, us talk yeah, about, the buying things. the hobby sites. We've got a wide range of skills. These are literally our star students who've grads, not, grads I should say, yeah. but also they've been around Matt and Liz, for like some of them for nearly a decade, well, going close on to it. So they know what we do, plus all our community back the front, and they can advise you on what, what strategies you should be using, and they can certainly help you get over the little humps that you might have. And bonus number four. Now, this is a biggie. Awesome. Yep. We want to give you a free family access pass. Because how awesome would it be to have your partner or one of your kids or your mum or your dad on this journey with you? So with this bonus, you get to gift it to them. So they gain the skills and can be with you and also build their own portfolio for themselves. So bonus number four means you can gift a second full membership to a family member for free. So... That is amazing. They are gonna get their own logins, they get full access to the standard program, and you guys can go on the journey together. And you can see, this is some examples of our amazing teams that have been on, come through our programs. Fathers and sons, mothers and sons, mums and daughters, partners, um, brothers and sisters. So if you've got a special person in your life who you know this is gonna make an amazing difference for as well, imagine gifting this to your teenage kids. We've got a whole lot of kids on teenage kids on the program. And it's awesome to see them gaining these skills and getting, um, getting that um, leverage for themselves so early in their life. So you get to bonus gift a free fan, an access pass to one of your family members. All right, so with the bonus upgrade, um, with a standard enrollment plus those four bonuses, that's almost $10,000 in extra value there. So that's over $25,000. Now, we realize not everyone has that kind of money to invest, but our mission is to get people digitally educated and taking control of their future to be able to action this and get this for themselves. So what we've done is design this package so we can deliver it to you as a supported home study program that you can do at your own pace and it gives you access to everything you need to build your portfolio. And what that means is you can get started right now for $895 plus five, uh, four payments of $895 or one payment of Australian, so this is all in Australian dollars, um, $3,500. So in US, I think that's around the two, uh, two thousand, two and a half thousand, something like that. You can look it up in the conversion. Um, so that's Australian dollars, $3,500. Now, if you wanna go and enroll now, get going. It's ebusinessinstitute.com.au forward slash start. So if you go there, you can get in and enroll. Um, yes, Ashish, the future is with us. So now, one of the things really important, what we wanna do is make this an absolute no-brainer and we need, you need to know, like we said at the beginning, um, 
like Robert Kiyosaki said, most people aren't trained to recognize opportunities. And this is your chance to learn that. So our job is to make sure it's as safe as possible for you to get in there and be able to take some action and get results. So we give you a 100% 30 day money back guarantee because we know this works, but you need to know that this works for you. So 100% money back guarantee. We just want you to be happy. We want you to get in there and be able to make sure this is right for you. So So get the program, try it out for 30 days, maybe go out and buy your first website. And there's, like Liz said, there's the 30 day money back guarantee. Now guys, this is a limited time offer. And what we've done for you action takers, if you take action on this in the next few days, what we're also going to offer you here is personal deal checks with either Liz or myself. So just like that one that I showed you with Richard buying that Italian site, that bargain site. And what it means is you get us to help you when when you're looking at a deal, doing due diligence, whether it's big or small, or it might be on a strategy. Remember, we've made people millions of dollars. We're advisors to high net worths. We do this all the time, been doing it for 20 or 30 years and for the last decade with websites. And so these deals can be big or small, valid for five years, remember. So what you what will happen is we can help you there. This is about helping you feel safe that you've picked a good um, website and that you've covered everything. Now. This is a limited time offer though. You've got to take action. This is what we're going to keep this open for, Liz, next two uh, days till on this one. Friday. This so on this special, on the two, we, so to get the personal deal checks with us as well, um, you need to get in there and enroll. So remember, 100% money get back guarantee. So absolutely no 